what we're going to do, resist it. So from there, there's a few ways of doing this. His leg over my leg. So we know we're not going to have a problem. So if you straighten your leg into my hand, overcome, 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 yeah. So that would be, if he overcomes me, what would you call that? Strength. Okay, well, it's a strength test, but in terms of like motion. Okay, keep your leg straight. Hold your leg in that position. Don't let me break the seal if you like to stop me. Okay, so that's ISO. Metric. metric. Okay, so you might test isometric to start with. Hold your leg again. Yeah. So what does that test? Look, relax. Yeah. Hold your leg. Much, much, much. What is it? What's am I testing? Yeah. So the VMO. Yeah. At end range, isn't it? Yeah. So it's isometric. If he says to me, he feels it, it hurts, then I suspect he might have done what? A muscular or a tendon strain. Yeah. Because it's resisted movement. If he says, I feel it. If he's got a jump on his knee and I do this, do you think he'll feel it? Maybe, but he might, yeah, because it's, it's contracting, you know, it's a tendon. Mm. If he's got a rec fem strain or um, vastus medialis strain, yeah, match, and he says I might feel it, yeah. yeah? So if you were to do the next movement, like I'm showing you, relax the leg, okay, so now if I say overcome me now, yeah, so go to move, yeah, so what's that now? So isometric, what's it called? Iso, <coughs> iso tonic, concentric. Okay, push again. So isotonic, concentric. Yeah? Okay? And the other way of doing it, if you could, like, if I bend the knee fully, be careful, just gently go to push my leg away, or my hand away. If he says, now I feel it, what are you doing to the tendon? You're placed into a, it's not eccentric, but into a lengthened position. Mm -hmm. So from this position, straighten your leg, you might feel it more when the tendon is on stretch a bit. Can you visualize yeah. that one? Yeah? Because in this one, the tendon is now shortened, isn't it? Yeah. Hold your leg, hold your leg. Maximum pressure, you might say, oh, he says, well, I don't really feel anything. Yeah, but if you change the angle and say, and say push away, you might say, yes, it's just there. And you know it might be a jumper's knee. Or if he's 15 or sending last or something. Yeah, so it's about the position you might want to test him in. So that might be testing the resisted of the quadricep. The hamstring one, we'll do one more, we just sit forward. We normally do this at the end, sit forward, lie in front, face down. Okay, so he comes in with posterior knee pain. Yeah, so he's got pain around this area. You suspect it might be hamstring. It might well be the gastrocnemius, isn't it? Because they cross. Okay, so you've got the semis, the bicep, and then the two heads of the gastroc, and obviously the popliteal fossa in between that. Yeah, so there's a space in between there. So for instance, if you want to test, uh, he's got pain in the back of the knee, but you can do passive flexion from here. You know, what's his test in this? What's his length test? You can see his tight conceit. What's that into his pelvis? So his rectum is tight. Yeah, so if I do that, now maybe his rec fem is limited in flexion. Can you, be, yeah, mm -hmm. can you see? Yeah, so his rec fem might not be allowing me to flex his knee fully. So I might have to take his rec fem out of the equation when I, but we'll come back to that. So if he says to me, if he says to me I get pain when I do, when I compress, is it going to be, is it going to be the muscles of the hamstrings of the calf? If I, if he says I feel it behind my knee. Yes or no? Okay, so he says, okay, I'm saying to him, Vic, do you have any pain? And he goes, yeah, yeah, it's behind my knee now. Oh, it's really sore. Is it the hamstrings of the calf muscle that's responsible for pain? It's the top of the gastrocnemius. Okay, the question is, he's got pain, he comes in and he says, my pain is behind my knee. I'm doing one test and I'm <coughs> saying to him, and he goes, oh, God, it's really sore. Top of the is it the hamstrings? Is it the hamstrings, popteus, gastro? No, it's none of them. What is it? What was that? No, it's nothing. It's not. It's not there. What's it called? What is that? Meniscus. It's meniscus. Yeah, because what you're doing to the soft tissues, you, you, I know you're compressing them. Yeah, but you're still slacking them, are you? Yeah. So if he says I get pain in my knee. Yeah, when you are compressing something. Is that the same when they go down on the horses and squat? Yeah, when you're trying to do this, it's like, oh, God, it's always sore. It's nothing to do with the soft tissue. I know meniscus is soft tissue, but yeah. it's within the knee. Yeah, it's a fibrocartilage tear, probably. So if you want to test with muscles, there's no point slacking in them, is it? Yeah, we have to resist them. Will Watch it the technique. Include the cruciates? No. Or not? No, no. no. They won't give you pain on that. No. Yeah, cruciates don't really give you pain, only when you rupture. Okay. Yeah, but then when the knee it gives way, when you've got a deficient ACL, it gives you pain then because there's no ligament to stop the rotation, so then it over rotates, and then that's what gives you pain afterwards. Yeah, Vic, slowly pull your heel towards your bum. Pull maximum pressure. What what technique? Iso isometric. Isometric, good. Yeah. yeah, so from there, yeah, so pull your heel towards your bum. Still isometric, isn't it? But now I've allowed the tendons to lengthen. Can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see them straight away, can't you? 
yeah? Whereas on this one, you might get a cramp on this one, pull the heel in, yeah? Yeah, you can still see them, but if you put them into a lengthened position, now test, it picks them up straight away. So if I allow them to overcome the movement, yeah? Push up, overcome me, overcome, 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 it's now ISO tonic concentric. Mm -hmm. Pull up again. So all the time I'm saying to him, do you have any pain? More likely he's saying no, 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 yeah? So from there, if I say to him, pull your heel towards your bum, Okay, now I overcome him as he's pulling, pull again. Okay, and he says, no pain, what have I done now? Eccentric. Eccentric, yeah, he's evo is still contracting, I'm allowing a lengthening to occur, so it's like an eccentric contraction. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you've got any tears or tendons, it will pick it up straight away. It will pick it up. You can vary the leg position, watch. Okay, I've turned the leg this way, pull the leg up, what am I testing now? Same. Same, <coughs> if I turn the leg external, pull up, what am I testing now? Bicep. Bicep femoris. So what I'm, what I'm simply looking for is, are the hamstrings causing posterior knee pain? Come down the couch and the knees are hanging off the edge. Oh, yeah, be slowly front. Oh. Okay, so posterior knee pain, and not too, not too much for that. Okay, so what other muscle might be causing it? Gastro. If I test gastro this way, push your foot towards the ceiling, what's he going to say to me behind the knee? Gastro, yes or no? No. No. Push your toes towards me. If you say if it's gastroc, yes or no? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah? Because what have you done to the gastroc in this position? Yeah, yeah you took it out of the equation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you push up now, push up, it's now testing the uh, soleus. soleus. Yeah? So if you want to test the gastroc, so from there, push into me. So now we can test the gastroc with the leg straight. Because what you're doing, you're trying to isolate knee pain, isn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, behind the knee. If it's none of them, yeah, if muscular tests are negative, which they probably would be, yeah? Um, in the pain in here, but you get pain when you compress the knee, you have to be thinking meniscus. Yes, you can deviate it, we're doing the Apple test, we can do that. Move up the couch again, so let me just recap.